You know what they say, there's a black sheep in every family. In mine, it was my cousin Julie who had a baby out of wedlock. Auntie Norma went to her grave with a broken heart, Julie, and none of us will ever forgive you. But in North Korea's ruling dynasty, the black sheep was Kim Jong-nam. Unlike his half-brother, Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-am wasn't interested in the family tradition of killing his uncles, imprisoning everyone wearing glasses in labour camps and forcing thousands of people to dance and clap for him wherever he goes. This is Kim Jong-nam. He was more of a freewheeling kind of a sibling, a chilled out, good time sort of a guy. Less Joe Stalin, more Joe Dolce. What's the matter, you? Hey, why are you looking so sad? Well, because I've just been stabbed in the face with poison and I am dying. Yes, that's what happened to him this week when he was poisoned at Kuala Lumpur Airport by two mysterious female agents who are still being sought by police. They have released this image of the suspects, though. <laughs> sure you'll agree, sexy but deadly. For many years, it was believed that Yong Nam was being groomed to succeed his father, Yong Il, who looked like Deirdre Barlow if she went to a children's fancy dress party as E.T. But that ended after Yong Nam was caught sneaking into Japan on a fake passport in 2001 because he wanted to go to Disneyland. Maybe he just wanted to meet another secretive tyrant with a mad father who controls millions of people. <laughs> That's right, Mickey Mouse! <laughs> that, my friends, was a joke. Kim Jong-nam moved to China and started a nice new life where he was able to get Netflix and didn't have to constantly visit sham textile factories. It wasn't perfect, though. He was aware Kim Jong-un wanted him dead and there was no flim-flam from Pyongyang and shit hit the fan for Yong Yang. I simply can't put it any plainer than that. Anyway, now it's time to choose a new favourite, Kim Yong. And I'm pleased to announce my new favourite Kim Yong is Kim Yang Chul. Kim Yong Chul is Kim Yong Il's middle son, younger half brother to Kim Yong Nam, older brother to Kim Yong Un, and he was apparently passed over for succession for being too effeminate. He was last spotted at an Eric Clapton concert in 2015. True story. <laughs> and might I add, there is nothing effeminate about crying to Clapton's tears in heaven. It gets me every time. Although I do think Clapton should have gone to prison. Sorry, I know what you're thinking. It's all too confusing. How are we supposed to remember which Kim Yong is which? Well, I find it helpful to use this handy rhyme I've made up. Feel free to use it too at home. <coughs> Kim Yong Il thought he was Brill and ruled with an ironclad fist. He couldn't give his job to Kim Yong Nam, who went to Disneyland to get really pissed. Kim Yong Chul was too camp to take charge, so he never got his dad's calls. Instead, the top job went to Kim Yong Un who was mental with small Kim Yong balls. <laughs> Panel, is your family anything like the Kim Yong, sorry, Lyons? I don't know if my uh, brother would uh? have me removed for wanting to go to Disneyland. He probably wouldn't need a word with me, because I don't have children. It would be quite odd if I just rocked up hanging out with Pluto. But, um, <laughs> no, I, I mean, the, 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 um, the, the, the Kim Yong uns really take it to the next level, don't they? I mean, yeah. Christmas must be an absolute bloody nightmare yeah, in this house. Yeah. Yeah. Can you pass the freedom, please, brother? Because <laughs> 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 he doesn't just get rid of people, he obliterates them, doesn't he? That's Eric, right. it really puts uh, your president, uh, Donald Trump, into context, because everyone's running around excitable about him being I'm so evil and bad, but he has never poisoned a sibling in the face, has he? That we know of, Not that, we, that know. we know of. I mean, he's tried, but his hands are too small too to small, grab yeah. the weapons. Um, yeah, that's funny. The thing with the names is tricky, though, because my mother, uh, my mother's been married, th well, four times, and three of the men were named Bob. Wow. So, which is tricky. So you have to, you know, she was just Bob, Bob, Bob and along. So you know how confusing it can be to have lots of people in your life with similar names. Yeah. But would that drive you to kill one or more of the Bobs? There is one of the Bobs that um, is no longer with us. <laughs> and I don't and, really want to think about it. And just remember one of the Bobs. <laughs> if you're watching one of the Bobs, remember, you are not Eric's father. You will never be Eric's father. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Sandy. Mm -hmm. If someone just gave you a free ticket to North Korea, <laughs> first class, would you go or no. would you shit yourself? No, I'd shit myself. Right. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so, babe. You wouldn't be mm -mm. curious. <sighs> Come on, you're mad. <laughs> I will not touch the place. I don't think so. Uh, who? City break. City break. <laughs> yeah, city break in North Korea would be lovely. Um, in North Korea or Russia, what's scarier right now to you, Zoe? Probably North Korea, because they take it to a whole new level. That's, yeah. I mean, there are parts of Russia that I think would be still quite pleasant to visit. St. Petersburg has its charms, I'd imagine. There'd be very little to see of interest in North Korea, I would think. Yeah. Um, are um, their burgers £10? 
In where? Or twenty pound. What in North Korea? Yeah. Where would you hear that? Is it? I heard that their burgers are that much. You can get oh. a burger. I'm surprised they even have burgers. <laughs> <laughs> burgers <laughs> are probably <laughs> made <laughs> from human peasants. <laughs> Most probably. Yeah. yeah. People <laughs> of, of broken rules <laughs> get turned into <laughs> hamburgers. <laughs> and sold for 20 I love that's a nugget of information that you've gleaned. Yeah. Well, you know, we love food, isn't it? Go to North Korea. Open up a Five Guys. Yeah. You could make a killing. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be long before it's a Four Guys if he pissed off Kim Jong Un, would it? Yeah. <laughs>